What is going on guys? And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to master zooms in DaVinci Resolve. Now I'm gonna keep this super straightforward. There are three different ways that you can do this. I'm gonna show you the best way and then an easy way and then an intermediate way. But guys, before we get going in this video, I wanna let you know that I took every single pack on my store, bundled it up into one bundle and made it completely half off. Yes, you heard that right, completely half off. And as the first link in the description, you're not gonna wanna miss out on this deal. So go cop that while you can. Some of the most premium editing assets that you can even get in the first place. Last but not least, guys, if you want to be mentored by me, that will be the second link in the description. Fill out the form, book a call with me. But guys, now that that is all out of the way, we are going to now show you how to master zooms in DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys, perfect. So it's going to be a cool video because I'm gonna show you guys how to kind of create a zoom just like this that I use in each and every single one of my YouTube videos, okay? So one of the first ways that we're going to do is going to be held in this edit page over here on the top right, which is the transform. And what we're gonna essentially do is come to this zoom and position and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and zoom in and then using the position we're gonna go to my face we're gonna hit this diamond at the top and then we're gonna go a few seconds forward and then we're gonna change everything back to normal so back to 0 0.5 0 0.5 and this back to 1 so now if we go ahead and play that back you have a zoom it looks very beginner like it's just not it just doesn't look that good it needs an extra pop to it so what you could do is go ahead and go to this icon this keyframes and go to the smoother and what you could do is you could just highlight all of this and then go ahead and just smooth it out just like so and this is going to essentially just smooth out your keyframes for you so however you decide to smooth it out so say we want to drag this this little smoother thing and grab this point right here and you could basically just smooth it out just like that so now if we play it back you have a nice little animation. But I personally think this is just sucks. Toggle all that off, we're gonna reset this. We're gonna take this clip and actually go into the Fusion page for the second method. Okay, so what we're gonna do is under the Media one, we're gonna hit Shift Space for a Transform node, and we're gonna add that Transform node in to this timeline. And what we're gonna do is we're only gonna really be messing with the size. So I'm gonna turn the size up just a bit, and we're gonna go about 20-ish frames forward. And then we're just gonna turn this straight up back to one. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use something called Splice. This tab is very known for just various of animation. So once you have that open, you're going to hit zoom to fit on your timeline. So once we hit zoom to fit, you're going to have a graph that looks very linear, just like this. And you know it's linear by all these graphs right here. So if you click in this box and hit command A, it's going to highlight all your keyframes. You could do animations like this, like this, where it just goes straight up. So it, it will just just literally spawn in or you can have it. You can have it go like this. However you want it to be like, you can do it. OK, so. We're gonna hit Command Z until we get it back to normal. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go hit Command A and use an option that's not even on this timeline. We're gonna go to Ease and then Out Cubic and it's going to bring it down just like so. So now if we play it back, it's super smooth and super professional. And we're gonna go to Settings and toggle on some Motion Blur and turn it up to about six. So now if we play it through, it looks very cinematic and it gives a very professional look to it. But now what I'm going to teach you how to do is going to be able to make it to where you can have this zoom out effect and use it in every single video that you have ever made. So you're gonna save it as a preset. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over into this transform. We're literally just going to delete this transform. And uh, as you see, now we have our video. So what we're gonna do in order to make this a transition is we're going to go to the effects and grab what's called an adjustment clip. Now what an adjustment clip does is whatever is under this adjustment clip, it is going to affect. So that's why it's so great that we use these adjustment clips and utilize them. So because what if I wanted to put a text underneath this? For example, as you see, my text and my clip are being zoomed out at the same exact time. That's exactly what this adjustment clip is used for. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can create something very similar to, okay? So we're gonna make this clip about however long we want it, so just the length of our clip for now. And what's great is you can always change the length of these clips, okay? So under the adjustment clip we have selected, we're gonna go into the Fusion page and we're gonna hit Shift Space for a transform. Same old stuff, we're just going to go ahead and zoom into our clip about at 2.9 or three, hit a keyframe, and we're gonna go to about 20, 25 to get the smoothest animations. Hit number one, okay? So now if you play it through, you have a linear graph, okay? Just like that. So now we're gonna go to settings and a toggle on motion blur and turn it to six, specifically six to get the best results. Open up your spline by hitting the spline tab and go to zoom to fit, command A to uh, highlight all your keyframes and double click and go to ease and then go to out cubic. 
and now you have yourself an animation that zooms out, okay? And you can make it however short or however long you want it to make it. Now, one more trick, guys. What I'm gonna show you how to do is spice it up. So we're gonna hit shift space and search for a camera shake. Search for this specific one, the CSHK. We're gonna enter that in. And as you see, it is going way too intense right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to edges and hit mirror. And we're gonna turn down the deviation of Y and X to about barely anything, okay? So now if we play this back, it's still way too much. So we're gonna turn the speed and the overall strength down a whole bunch. That way we have a very subtle shake. And now our animation is now done. Now you're probably like, Ryan, how do I save this as a transition or a preset? That way I can use it in every single video. Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing you're gonna do is head over to these three lines and make sure your show power bins has a check mark next to it. Now you're gonna have a power bins enabled. Now if I have a master and I have a bunch of bins already made, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click and hit new bin. But my bin, I just named it effects. So all I'm gonna do with this effect is I'm going to take this adjustment clip and I'm going to drag and drop it into this bin and the highlighted one will be your new selected bin. So now we're gonna click this adjustment clip and we're gonna do zoom out X shake. Now guys, this zoom out and shake will spawn in every single project file that you open. Let's go ahead and delete this and I'm gonna show you guys that if I just open my power bins, come to my effects, and go to zoom out and I apply this to my clip. Boom, just like that. Now we have a zoom out shake automatically applied. That way I can use it in each and every single video. Now guys, I really hope this taught you guys how to kind of utilize adjustment clips and utilize presets and making your own presets. And first and foremost, what you clicked on this video for, which was zooms in the first place, but I'm glad you guys learned a lot more tricks along the way. Don't forget to check out the ultimate sale that I'm running on my entire store bundle. But without further ado guys, I will see you guys in the next video.